Aries, babies, hello, hello, hello. This is a collective message for my Aries babies, okay? My Emperor and Empress X out there. This is a collective message for my divine beings that are Aries, okay? Flip it, switch it, get in where you fit in, leave the rest. There's no gender in tarot. If it does not apply, let it fly, leave for somebody else, okay? This is a collective message for my Aries baby. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you like, love, and share, okay? It helps out with the channel. Likes are free. Sharing is caring, okay? And I love your comments. I did update my other platform. So if this message does not resonate with you guys, feel free, okay, to go over there, okay? And check some messages out. Okay, my personal readings have been discounted to $25, okay? So you can find that in the website, the link tree, at the bottom of this page, okay? With the other platforms and everything. And this is a collective message for my Aries babies to your highest good, okay? God, the sin and master's universe and spirit, please give me a collective message for my Aries babies, okay? I feel like y'all are ready to take off, okay? Cancer's in Mars area, y'all area, so I've been using my black turbuline, okay, to calm it down, knock it down a notch, okay? How they say to be more level-headed, okay? Hold on, Aries, I'm trying to take care of business and love at the same time, hold on. Okay, sorry about that, Aries. I like to love and take care of business at the same time. You know, balance things out, okay? So now you have my full-grown attention, okay? Y'all about y'all business, so y'all know how I be, okay? This is my collective message for Aries, God, Descendant, Master, Universe, and Spirit. Please give me a collective message for my Aries babies. I will be traveling this week, okay? But I will have your messages out front and center, okay? Don't worry, okay? I'm going to travel and work at the same time. Babe, it's multitasking these days, okay? You got to learn how to do that, okay? So let's see. Three car pull with Aries, future, present, and past. See what's the T on the situation and your future love, okay? You have the Empress, Taurus energy. I like that. I like that, okay? What did I tell you? Three of ones, standing on business, okay? Empress energy. I like that. I like that. Taurus energy. Taurus customer. Aries Taurus customer, perhaps. Okay. Ooh, the devil. What you say? <laughs> what you say? What you say at the bottom of the deck in a child past healing? Family. Okay. Parents. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, child. Aries, what is going on? This is from your childhood experiences. Okay, six of cups means this is from back in a child day. Okay, you're dealing with toxicity. Okay, habits, addiction. It's been a while. Okay, or somebody is very uh, addicting to you, perhaps, or you're addicted to something. Okay, someone, people, places, a thing. Okay, and it's getting overwhelming. Give me some for the Empress. Okay, Empress Taurus energy. Okay. One card, please, and thank you, Spirit. Let me shuffle again, because back a bunch of cards wanted to come out. Give me something on this Empress Energy. I'm playing four cups in the middle of deck, okay? Give me some on this Empress Energy rejection, okay? You feel like things are not going to go your way, okay? The Tower, Scorpio Energy. Ooh, sudden change. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ten of Swords. Ooh, child. Well, take a deep breath. <laughs> like when I get bitter bad news, I'll be like, <sighs> okay, take a deep breath, okay? Sudden change. Give me some on this Scorpio energy, okay? Mm, the Emperor, okay? More Aries energy, okay? Some sudden change with you, okay? That has to do with your power, authority, okay? How you're looking at things, okay? The ego, the pride. The adjustment, you know, the emperor takes care of the top, the bottom, and in between. What about this empress, emperor and empress energy? Okay. Okay. With the six of so wands. Okay. You're with it. You're with it. Okay. A sudden change that things are going your way after a harsh ending. Okay. Okay. You seem like you had to say 
in control of this situation. Okay, you got the control together. We got to have the control together now. <laughs> we got to have the control. Okay, give me something from the three of wands. Okay, you standing on business. You standing on purpose. You're driven. You're taking action. Okay, yes. Seven of cups though. Okay. <sighs> Seven of Cups, okay? Options. You have to decide on a couple of things. You have to make some power move. Some power move. Emperors have to worry about the top, the inner, in between. That's the job of being the emperor. Aries energy, okay? You're kind of wore out, okay? This has really been stringing you along. Three of Cups at the bottom of that. You've been trying to win at all costs, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune in the middle of the deck, okay? Give me some on what you're more out about and how this could be an illusion, could be a lie, this could be misunderstood, this could be choices you haven't made it's, that's coming back around that's biting you in the butt, okay? The nine, the, I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups, okay? The Seven of Pentacles, okay? And the Knight of of pinnacles the slow moving night so this is something you've been knowing about and you just pity feeding around okay you're not taking action <laughs> we need the action in order for you to be victorious you gotta get to get up it you gotta get the moving because if not spread divine whoever you believe in is gonna change it for you Okay, period. Okay, you don't want that. That's what the Ten of Swords. It looks like the universe is just changing things for you, forcing its hand on things. Okay, and you're trying to see time. It's it's like riding a bull. You know, you're trying to get get control of it, but it's just all over the place. Okay, yeah. The Knight of Cups. Maybe you want to offer your cup of love. You see foundation in something. But you're BSing around, okay? Four of Pentacles, you're holding on to some things that you might need to let go. There's a lot of blockage within this. Give me something on the Capricorn energy. Maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn. You have Capricorn in your charter. They do, okay? Yeah, King of Swords, okay? Give me something on this King of Swords energy, okay? This is a King of Swords. Very blunt, very to the point. This could be a father figure, okay? This could be somebody that's uh, in authority, okay? This could be somebody that's uh, well-directed, honest, blunt, cutting. Can get be cutting and hard sometimes, but they do it with love, okay? Truth about a queen of wands, okay? So you're dealing with a lot. <laughs> a lot of people out here, okay? That's toxic for you. Now, people can be toxic too, okay? Now, let me explain you how that could be. You got people, it feels like you got people in your life and they mean you love, but they're setting you up for failure because you're holding on to their truth. What is your truth? What does Aries want to do? Where does Aries put a position in Aries' life? It's good to get advice. It's good to get help, okay, to push forward in Aries' life, okay? What does Aries want to do, okay? And the people that are giving you advice with the king of cups they do it with love okay they try to think about their best interests okay um if this is a father figure your father loves you try to do it for best interest but you know this ain't the 80s no more people do it a little bit different you know i miss my mom giving me her advice and her but baby i was like okay mom this ain't the 50s you know we ain't in slavery days no more okay rosa park that set us free and now i'm about to be free with rosa okay this queen of wands, give me some on this father figure, this queen of wands, maybe this is a partner, give me some on what's so toxic about this, the nine of cups, okay, so there's some selfishness going on here, <laughs> okay, there's some selfishness, okay, there's some selfishness, or it's a wish fulfillment that you want, take what resonates, okay, maybe you want something, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? There's boundaries being put up. This is someone of your own kind, perhaps, okay? It's probably giving you what you've given them, okay? Reciprocity and energy. Keep in mind, this is the only energy, okay? I feel like that somebody's really trying to push the hand in this situation when it comes to you, making decisions for you, okay? I feel like that, you know, you haven't really stepped in your power yet, family yep there's a family issue how did i feel that way i felt that way because 
you're over here with the empress. Okay, you're definitely over here with the empress. Okay, this is family. Now you got we, because I felt love in that. I seen the king of cups, so there's love. They mean well, but what's good for them ain't good for you. That's what the seven of cups. You gotta decide. Seven of cups meaning yourself options. You got snakes. You got heads, you got uh, positive things, you got the devil, you got a whole bunch of options you got to choose from. You got to figure out what's the option for you. And you've been sliding your feet, okay, with the moon, cancer energy uh, on this situation. It's time for you to stand up out here, okay? There's no more sliding your feet. You need to decide on where do your foundation stand with the seven of pentacles. Where do you want to put your foundation? Where do you want to be, okay? Man up, woman up. Okay, because you are getting wore out. Okay, the wounded word means you wore out, you drain. You know what I'm saying? You probably got bags on your eyes, you're losing sleep. You know, you've been dealing with this situation for quite some time. You know, I'm not saying give in because I never give up. Okay, I'm not an Aries, but I'm sure you ain't into giving up. Okay, so don't give up, just get stable, mentally, emotionally grounded. Okay, yes, yep. Single energy. You're trying to figure out if you want to be single and start a new beginning or with a single energy. Okay, give me some on this nine of pentacles. This single energy. Give me some on this nine of pentacles and single energy. There's a lot of people out here when a lot of people just really honestly need to mind their own business. Yeah, this is a hermit energy, a Virgo energy. Okay, so maybe you've been single and in, or you have your I spy a single energy, perhaps. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe you are single. Yep, they've been defensive. Okay. Maybe you have an energy within your energy that's being very defensive, okay? Baby, protecting their heart. I mean, I would. Think about it, Aries. Let's be realistic. If this is you in the single energy, yeah, you should be a little guarded. You got everybody in your business. You got an emperor. You're trying to take your power back. You got an empress up here, okay, that you're dealing with, a mother figure, okay? That could be a mother, baby, mama, something like that. You got a father figure over here tripping. You got this queen of wands over here and some other issues, and they're being protected. And you know, Virgo energy, or it's you, okay? Somebody's being selfish, not thinking uh, their way through. Somebody's slowing down. You slowing down on the issue when you really need to go ahead and, how to say, go and put your foot down and say what you need. Three of wands, take care of business, okay? Because this is all turning out to be a toxic situation that's only unhealthy for you okay i don't see nobody else losing no sleep at you okay that fell on you when it comes to business <laughs> period okay you are definitely wore out about it put a name to the number put put something to this and mean it stand on that it don't matter who what when and her him whatever okay Yes, with the five of swords in reverse. It fell in reverse. I think it was in the upright. Somebody's trying to win, but it ain't even about winning at this point. This is about your peace. Closing things out. Period. Putting people in that place. It ain't even about a win. That's probably why the five of swords is in the, uh, in the reverse. This ain't even about a win. This is a lack of determination. This is crazy. It's a rat race, okay? I'm just keep it 100. This is a rat race. Let me get the T on this situation, okay? You got to put people in their place sometimes. You know, the, you love them. I got people I love, but I'll tell them quick. Can you mind your own damn business? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not your business. You know what I'm saying? Wolf in sheep clothing comes out. Love triangle. Yep, that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like, a love triangle. A whole funky mess, okay? You got all your family members involved in this, looks like. Okay, it's a whole funky mess. And now you're trying to get up out of it, and there's nowhere to go, okay? Travel, okay? In the reverse, it looks like, okay? Creeping at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this seems like a whole little funky rat race. So you may have to travel, but it's in reverse, okay? It's sideways, really. You thinking about traveling, okay? I don't know. Third party, multi-lovers choices. Yeah, you need to make a choice. Somewhere you was a wolf in sheep clothing, or they are, okay? Baby, it's a lot, Aries. It really is. Honestly, this is a lot, okay? No judgment. But honestly, the seven of cups need to go to a one of cups. Take it for somebody I know, okay? I've never had family members like this, but I've been married into somebody that got family members like this. And I've had to tell them. 
out of experience, you're going to have to mind your own damn business, okay? If I didn't ask you for your opinion, baby, I don't need it. It's not like I'm not grown enough to make my own decisions, but hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give me 50 feet, you know what I'm saying? You got to have room to think. Hey, you know, that's taking your power back. That's stepping in that emperor energy. That's the first start of being victorious through a change. Scorpio energy, okay? Taking your power back. Wait, hey, hey, if I did tell you something, okay, let's just say you, this is family, dad. You know, you vent to your family members just out of care and endearments, okay? But if I did tell you something, hold on. I'm going to take your advice with a grain of salt. Why? Because I respect it. I love it. But at the end of the day, I'm going to make a decision on what I want to do. Thank you. Peace, love, and happiness. Dad, mama, sister, cousin, great aunt, whoever this is. You know what I'm saying? You can't move my hand because you give me some advice and you expecting me to jump on it. Nah, that ain't how that's going to work, okay? And I'm just being honest. It, it, it gets you all confused. Though. That's why you wore a wounded war and my heart goes out to you. But, yeah, I put a lot of family, not mine. Mine's know not to play with me, but other ex-in-laws in their place. Like, don't play with me. Don't come giving me no advice. You know what I'm saying? Don't get in my business. What he tell you, you stand on that if you want to be a fool. You know what I'm saying, baby? I'm a fool. Forgive and learn, okay? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Yeah, you got to forgive and learn this situation. You got to learn from your mistake. If you are talking to your family, what the lesson is on that is what I'm gathering is you, you got to hold your private life back from them, okay? Your business ain't everybody's business. Very soon, get clarity of what you want and it will come to you. Yeah, this is a clusterfuck mess. You don't know what to think, believe, okay? You are definitely powerless. You ain't looking like no emperor right now, okay? Man or female, you are powerless right now. You need to take back your power. That's a beginning victory. That's a small victory. You know, if you did say something out of pocket, forgive, forget, okay? And ask for forgiveness. Get clarity. Work it out. Communication rule the nation. Be honest, not only with yourself, but be honest with your family. If you, how to say, overstep something, you know what I'm saying? Or you feel like you shouldn't have said something. Because you got to remember, one thing I learned back in my 20s that i never forget. You got to be careful what we tell our family members. Because we will forgive that partner or that place or that thing, but they won't. Okay? Oh, uh, you got to be careful. Okay? That's why I keep all family out of my midst, baby. If I got drama going on, but I don't. But if I got drama going on, baby, my family's the last people I want to call because they ain't going to forget, okay? It's, it's unrequited love. There's not enough attraction to this chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yeah, there's not enough traction. Yeah, baby, it's, this is so unrequited. I mean, I personally find it unattractive, you know, and I'm just going to be honest. You know, if y'all are arguing behind somebody which is a third party circle that maybe either you or they cause it's unattractive i mean it this is not attracting it doesn't give me likings it gives me yuckies yeah this is very so unrequired okay this is some um required as s h i t i ain't gonna even lie it really is that other person might not even be feeling you like that after all this you know and if they do, I wish y'all well, but this needs to be cleared out. So people need to know their role, and you need to stick on that, okay? Because you're the Aries energy. If you cannot put people in their pace, you need to start. Because right now, this is, mm -mm, nah, very unquieted, okay? Bye, Aries. Good luck.